Hello and welcome to the Security Department training video. In our last episode, we covered how you could become a valued member of the medical department. Today, we repeat that, but with the Foundation's first line of defense, the Security Department. That's right, we're going to teach you how to become a true force of the Security Department. So without further ado, let us begin. All right, you've joined the security department. Now you may be asking, huh? What do I do now? Well, typically within the foundation, the security department has three main priorities. Dealing with class D and tests, containment breaches, and site raids. But before any of that, you must understand your role as a security guard. While there is no true way to define what makes the best security guard, here are some important values that we believe are important. Teamwork. Communication within security and between the mobile task forces. And last but not least, efficiency. These are all core values that are practiced within security trainings. Whether it be working as a team in PvP combat, or even just sharpening up your gun skills and reaction times. If you even prove yourself to be worthy and climb up the ranks within the security department, you may qualify to be part of the specialized response team. All in all, by working on these three main values, you will truly become the best security guard the Foundation has to offer. While on site, it is important to make sure that the Class D are in order. Just like running a prison, Class D can easily get access to contraband and therefore are not to be trusted. Make sure you never guard the Class D cells alone, as this can have dire consequences. If one Class D gets too hard to handle, solitary confinement is always an option. This of course leads us on to their next important purpose, doing tests on SCPs. Control, this is Agent Olgren. I need a request to open up cell 311. Copy that. Hey. They've got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Always make sure to brief the class DS thoroughly. One long instruction can be costly. Make sure to listen to the lead scientist too. Well, we're here. Just get in there and follow all the instructions and uh, you'll probably be fine. Hey, 
scaredy cat. You better get. Oh shit! Shit! If a test goes wrong, a containment breach is likely to follow. This leads us nicely on to our next part. Dealing with containment breaches can be a scary prospect. Oh god. However, by using the three skills we outlined earlier in this video, you can work together to recontain the escaped SCPs. Make sure to never contain an SCP by yourself. Always work together to ensure the safety of Foundation personnel and your fellow security members. Make sure also when containing the SCP to treat them with respect. You never know what they may throw at you. If the situation gets too tough to handle, mobile task forces will take over. Always make sure to keep your wits about you. You never know what to expect when dealing with SCPs. Of course you have to remember, not every SCP is the same. Therefore, it is up to you to master containing each and every one of them. Just like that, you are one step closer to becoming the best security guard. Now I would go into great detail on how to defend site raids, but frankly, we are running out of time and budget. Not only do you have to defend from internal threats, but also external ones too. Particularly, hostile militant groups like the Chaos Insurgency pose the greatest threat to the Foundation. During a site raid, make sure you are never outnumbered. You don't want to be a one-man army. Make sure to also communicate with the mobile task forces and work as a team in defending some of the key points on a map. For example, on Site 54, security mostly defend Gate A, while MTF focus on defending the electrical center. Like with containment, using your three skills learned from training will help you to defeat those pesky chaos insurgents. Well there you have it, you are now qualified to be a true member of the security department. You recruits sure have done well, and now you can truly say, you are a member of the security department.